Greed is, um, again, one of those uh, I, vices or virtues, depending on how you look at it, greed is always in the eyes of the beholder. Okay. So it depends greed for what. The rabbinic sages have a, 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 a wonderful <coughs> teaching that great discoveries, great revelation, great insights and wisdom is a product of what's called kinat sofrim, the jealousy, the greediness between teachers. In other words, I listen to your teaching and, and I actually, I want to get deeper. I want, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm greedy and I'm greedy to have more insight and I'm jealous of your, I'm jealous of the wisdom you have. And that greed is a kind of sacred energy that produces more wisdom and more insight. So there is actually a, a good understanding of greed. That greed is actually a necessary part of who we are as human beings. And if you simply taboo greed, if you simply say of greed, greed is evil, you'll shut the door, it'll come through the window. Because it's a natural part of the human experience is to feel greedy for more life, to feel greedy for more wisdom, to feel greedy for more creativity, for, to feel greedy for more insight, to feel, and to feel greedy, of course, for more productivity and greedy for more material wealth. So the real issue isn't greed or no greed. The issue is greed for what? And what will the greed compel me to do?